shall be request let's see okay Hey there. Right on time. Ah, finally. Finally got it worked right, right? Yeah. Oh. So, so I'm, feel, I'm feeling a little feeling better. It? I tried all the remedies everybody gave me. And um, what I started doing is I started cooking my dog food, which is chicken with rice. I boil a chicken and add rice to it, uh -huh. white rice, because she's very picky. Uh-huh. So I ate some dog food and I felt better. <laughs> my dog Chicken food was and rice, all right. My dog food was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, good. I love it. I love it. So when you guys come on, say hi. So we know you're here. I see some people on here, but I don't. Uh, know who the, who you are, so let us right. know. Say hi. I see we got five people, but I don't know who they are. Yeah, I don't need. I don't either. Let's see. Ooh. Well, I got some. Sorry about that, guys. Did you fall? No, my iPad did. Okay. So I, sh yeah. I see Sherry Irving this watching. I don't know who the other four people are. Well, one of them is you, so three other people. Hi, Sherry. Okay. Okay, I don't even see Sherry, so let me see what's going on over here. Okay. Anyway, so, yeah, I see Sherry now. Hi, Lake. Hi, Sherry. We're glad you're here. Karen Hampton joined. Hi, Karen. So we're going to be working on this magnolias. So pretty. This is the other. So I Hi, Debbie. How are you? And we have Betty. Okay, so what I'm going to start is I'm going to start tracing the leaves, okay? Because we're going to have to do some painting. Okay. And as people join, they can watch. So I'm going to okay. just double the pages. And I'm using brown because we can paint the, you know, the back of the leaf is brown, right? And so then right. uh, uh, the magnolia leaf is brown and then it's green on the front. So you can either exactly. alternate, right, you can alternate from the green and paint it brown, whichever you have. If you don't have green and you only have brown, then, you know, do the alternate color, okay? Okay. So I'm going to use the stylus. On my lives, I've been saying that we don't need all the tools, but I'm going to use the tools today so you can see how pretty things are when you do have the right tools. Okay. And then... Um, then I will also make one without any tools. So you can see the difference on the leaf, okay? Okay. So how many leaves are we putting on this one today? I'm gonna put three on each. So I'm gonna cut okay. six leaves, mm-hmm, six leaves.
that we're missing a Q and A with Jackie's group tonight. I didn't know it was tonight. I knew she did it on Friday, but I wasn't sure what time. Hi, oh, Francis. Sh- how are you? And what time is it? I forgot about that. It's right now, but we missed it. We'll have to go back and catch it later. Oh, okay. That's okay. It's you know. It's recorded. It happens. Yeah. It happens. It happens. It's- it happens. It does. Okay. So I'm going to move the brown aside. Okay. So we have Francis. Hello, Francis and Debbie. Okay. So I'm going to grab something because I always paint. I'm just going to take this off because I always paint the, my mats. And so they're so expensive, as you can see. Look at it, my poor thing. You know, I just take regular packing paper and put uh-huh. down what I'm painting on top well, of my mat. Just to... It's no point in saving it anymore since I'm going to use it again over and over. <laughs> I know it's, it's a bad presentation, but, you know, whatever. That's ready? okay. That's okay. okay. So I'm going to do the green, uh, and it's the marsh green from Apple. Uh Apple oh, Barrel. This person from Texas, welcome. We're glad you're here. We hope you uh, invite you to join. Come watch with us. We do a lot of foam art, so I'm glad you're coming here today. Hi, Kelly. Kelly from, from Australia. Australia. So it's 10 a.m. in the morning over there. <laughs> right. About. That's way around in that point, right? Around that time. So we're going to paint the leaves just green on one side. And the reason I'm doing the, the leaves first is because since I'm painting, I want to allow it some time to dry so that we can work on the material with the rest of the material, right? And right, then I, right. I have to assemble them and then I'll get paint on my project. So that's why we're going to do the leaves first. Right. But if you were in a hurry and you just couldn't stand it, you can always take a hair dryer and dry your paint. Yes. But it's, it's good the way she's doing it because... This way, um, we have a process anyway. It'll be dry by the time she's ready to put them on. Mm -hmm. And it's it looks kind of like horrendous right now, but you're gonna see the the final product just like it is on my on my other leaves. Right. Um, Did anyone get a chance to download the templates? We put on the pen. Hi, Bernie. Because I put them on there, and what I had to do when I did, I went in there and I um, saved the photo. I say I clicked on it, saved the image, and then I printed it from my picture folder, which you know works better for me. I don't know. You guys may know a better trick. I don't know it. It makes a bigger brush, so that it goes faster. Yeah, it would. Mm-hmm. And a smoother finish also. If you notice on the templates, though, they, she put that on where it was measured. So you can see the exact size that each one of those product, each one of these need to be. You have the template. You have the template for the leaves, the template, template for the floral thing and the other leaves. The petals. The petals and... The little thing underneath. What did we call that the other day? <laughs> I forgot already. It's Friday. You can you have to excuse me. It's Friday. Well, I'm not a florist, okay? I'm an artist. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's that little green thing underneath. The That's green thing. Uh huh. It's the little thing that keeps the petals all together. Right. When the petals open up, that's what holds them all together. Mm-hmm. Is Sandra uh, on yet? Sandra Cedar? Or I Carter? don't see you. Deborah. Hi, Deborah. And Lord Jean, how are you today? 
I haven't seen Sandra on or who was the other one that Lorraine? Had, I think it was this morning. Lorraine also. Mm -hmm. Um I haven't he, seen that. Some of my friends said they couldn't log into the our um full mark that somebody else would come on with uh, in Spanish when you, they were logging into our website. Really? Mm hmm So just thought I'd let you know. Since so you're the, I, in, since you're the IT person. <laughs> So the IT lady. Can't log in because Sorry? someone's got a block. Someone has a block. No, no, no. That trying to log in into the foam art the, uh, and be signed, they can't. They get another uh -huh. another site, not ours. Oh, they get another page. Another page. Uh huh. Uh, well, I put the I put the whole um, number thing down there. I did too. There, I put the link. So. I put the link. So. Oh well. <clears throat> Hi, Cindy. I am too. I am too. Did you? We'll show you. She'll show you in a minute. But she's already finished a couple of them, and they are so nice. Um, oh, thank you, Deborah. Thank you. Right here on the screen. We appreciate it. See that? Isn't that pretty, you guys? Oh, I love them. And, and you know, guys, once you make these and they're beautiful just like they are, um, but if you were going to use them at, like, Christmas time and you wanted a little glitter, you could come back with some little white glitter on top of there or even a little gold on the edges. Um Sometimes at Christmas time, I also take the magnolia leaves and I'll paint every other one. I'll have a, a gold and a silver and then a green. Oh, it makes such a pretty display. I do want to share that I went shopping. I went when I went window shopping because I didn't buy any. Uh, so I saw um, a stem with about three three flowers at Joanne's, and uh, uh -huh. it was priced for thirteen ninety nine. That was on sale with their sale, oh and. The, and then um, I went to Hobby Lobby and they had a single one in one stem with a very little um, petals and it was um, $6, $5.99 or $6.99. Wow. And then they had another one. And, oh, and the back of the, of the leaf, it didn't have brown and the magnolia leaves have brown. All of them do. Oh yeah, all on the back side you do. Mm -hmm. The sure back do. side. So, and so that one was six, but it didn't have the brown in the back. It was all green. And so then the next one that was a, a little bit better um, was nine ninety nine, and one one uh, one flower only, and uh, it was a little bit better. But nine ninety nine, but you only get one with a forty percent. So with five dollars, you can make all these. You know what we're making right now. Um, yeah. So now those are dry. I'm gonna go rinse my hands because I have green, and because I'm, okay. I'm gonna touch the white. Okay. Okay. Um, Francis, uh, Carolina is in uh, San Antonio, Texas. I'm in Jackson, Georgia. Um, but you were right to think that. Yeah, she she's in Texas, um, and I'm in Georgia. So we just. So what part of Texas are you from, Francis? Shorty, how you doing? I'm glad to see you tonight. I'm glad and you could join us. I'm going to put the pink one because I don't want the white one to get wet. I mean, dirty. Okay. So now we're going to go into the white. And we're going to trace. Oh, no, you know what? I still need this no this is fine okay um we're gonna use the white and we're going to trace this we're going to trace um four of them so sorry says take a drink girl hi tammy um Thank you, Shorty. 
I can't get Carolina to do that. Gonzalez, Texas. Oh, you're really close to Carolina then, aren't you, Francis? Not necessarily. Remember, we're spread out. I know. She said she's in Gonzales, Texas, and she mm -hmm. says that's close to San Antonio. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. My geography. I don't know. Geography. <laughs> you guys know, I just know I'm in the middle of Georgia somewhere. What county is Gonzales? <laughs> What county is Gonzalez? That's how I know my my uh my cities by the counties. Since I sell insurance, I go by counties. Go by counties, okay. What uh what county um are you in, Francis? What county is Gonzalez in? Carolina also does insurance, so um that's how she judges where everything is. Well, that's my job. I, I I'm an in, uh, an insurance lady an agent, a broker. She's an insurance lady, agent slash broker. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's necessarily in that order. <laughs> well, but a broker can broker several call. things and have people under them. Especially Medicare, if you guys need any information on Medicare, she's, she's really good at that. So she can help Thank you out on you. that. And that's kind of now me, it's I'm confusing Medicare. Okay, she's sixty miles um, away down I ten, Gonzales County. Oh, it is Gonzales County. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. I cut out several. And I'm doubling because I like to save time. And these scissors are not very well. Okay. And that playing with your thing. You know, um, I like those uh, those red and white ones you get from Dollar Tree for a dollar. I mean, they're pretty good for the beginning. They're called, um, I'm going to sit right here. What, Magnolias? Let me see if you I just like these scissors for, you know, I go through so many. I know you. Oh, the scissors. Uh-huh. Yeah. But these are, these are I'm, good. I messed, I messed them all up with the, with the glue. Yeah, you mess them up with everything. I mean, it's just part of being a, yeah. being a cracker. Sorry. I mean, you know, come on. Sometimes if you can't find your wire snips, you snip those. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The only ones I place, the only ones I place separately are are the ones for my material. Those are not gonna. I'm not going to put in here. Oh yeah, I know. I got you there. I, got you there. I keep I keep things separate too on some pages, but these I don't care. Tammy, how are you doing tonight? I'm glad you're here. Uh, Team here, but she can't talk to anybody. Can't you stay on the road, baby girl? She's on the Here's road again? Thing. On the road again. That's going to be your new song, girl. You got, you you need to play that all the time. That, that's got to be your go-to song. On the road again. Where is she going to now? Well, she's driving, so she can't talk. Oh, okay. And I don't want to get her in trouble. No, so. no, no. Right. We don't. Tammy, I'm good. How about you? Carolina's better. She was a little under the weather earlier today, but she's got it under control now, so she's back in the game. I ate some dog she food, and I feel better. <laughs> she did. But now, guys, it's not as bad as you think. Uh, she makes her dog, she makes homemade dog food, which is basically chicken and rice. And that's what she ate, and now she feels good. So... <laughs> Maybe you have a more dog diet. Have you considered that? Just go ahead and, and take up the dog diet. Yeah. I picked up the dog diet and I feel better. Boiled chicken with <laughs> rice. Boiled chicken with rice. Well, that's mm. land enough, so. Yeah. That works. So, did anybody get a chance to download the templates and print them out? 
or but they are on our page so you can and, and I started to tell you there you can see the measurements of each one because she put it put them in there and they're showing with um, the exact size of them because they're laying on top of the glue so you can see so. So you're saying that the Dollar Tree scissors are good? These are. I'm going to have to try them. Betty Crocker. Yeah, you know the thing, see there, the red and white ones? Mm-hmm. Betty Crocker on. And they're over in the food, you know, where you, your utensil area is in the Dollar Tree. Oh, I see. So they, okay, so they use those scissors probably to use in the kitchen. Like the scissors, you know. Yeah. They're good. They're good for yeah, yeah. This. I mean, you know, that mm -hmm. you don't mind throwing them away and tear them up. Uh, Tammy says she can't even, uh, believe anything long to have chicken that she's in. <laughs> so, Tammy, Tammy's dog. My Penny. Chicken. Oh, really? Her dog? <laughs> huh? Penny's a dog? Penny's a dog. What kind yeah. of dog is it, Tammy? Hi, Delta. How are you? Kitchen scissors. Yes, they are kitchen scissors. Let me tell you, those are pretty good for crafting. I'll, I use them a lot. Um, because, like I say, if they get dull, I mean, it's... So what? It was a, a dollar. dollar. I mean, I, I'll get eight weeks out of one, and, you know, as opposed to $15. A chihuahua. Okay. Tammy, Penny is a chihuahua. I used to have a dachshund years and years ago when I was in high school, and her name was Penny. She was very temperamental, too. They are the Chihuahuas, right? I had one also. I, I don't know. I Maybe some of them are. Yeah. Do you use them, too? Sybil uses the scissors that I, the Dollar Tree scissors. They're good, aren't they, Sybil? I mean, really, for a dollar? They cut good? I use them. I keep them all over the house. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Okay, so now I'm going to paint the <laughs> going to paint the centers of these uh, pink. Light okay. Pink. You're gonna mess that border too. Oh, uh, yeah. Are all those pink. Yeah. Oh, just the center part. Okay. Yeah, I think they're really especially for ten dollars. Delta says she has about ten pair of them. Yeah, but I believe I probably do too, um, because I just keep buying them and putting them wherever. It's like you know, you remember you're at the Dollar Tree and you say, "Oh, I think I'll get another pair of scissors." The next thing you know, you have to buy. Okay, I'm back. I stepped out. I went to go get a piece of paper so that way I didn't mess up my pink one again. All right. Good idea. Uh, Fifty-one years in. This is the first one that likes people. Huh. Isn't that something? Amy, her chihuahua. She's had them for 51 years, and this is the first one that likes people. Well, she went to Stafford, and she loved everybody, but especially children. I oh, had one for my son for a Christmas present, uh, Christmas present or gift one one year, but the chihuahua had nothing wanted nothing to do with with him, but fell in love with my daughter. Even if I talked a little bit loud to my daughter, that little doggy went at me. He was like, <laughs> it very he was overprotective of my daughter. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so then, um, that's done. And now I'm going to cut some of these in half, okay? Because you only need like four of those I mean, two of those for the center, so I'm going to cut them in half. All right. So now I'm going to turn the iron on. And then you can notice where she mm -hmm. keeps her iron below the chair that she keeps her iron in. She loses that from the Dollar Tree. So she does drop it. Oh yeah, my little container is from the Dollar Tree right here. The metal. Yeah. Perfect for her iron. It holds her iron just right. So let me bring it up over here. This right here. 
that little yeah, see there? They were there. They were bring oh. So, what I'm going to yeah, do first good. is I'm going to mold now the, the you know, they're still kind of wet. No, they're fine. Okay, so I'm going to use this mold, okay? This is a large mold, and this is for to imprint leaves, okay? It's huge. So, I'm going to use two different molds. This is one that you can buy separate, okay? Remember I said I was going to show you with the, with the, all the things now? And I'm also going to show you how to make a leaf without all the things. This is another mold of for the leaves, okay? I think this is a marijuana leaf right there. That's what it looks like, right? So, <laughs> and then, so th this comes yeah, in one pack. <laughs> Doesn't it look like it? Right? It does, and if the law comes to your house, if the law comes to your house, Carolina, we're not going to be able to protect you. You can tell them it's foam all you want to. <laughs> and so this is another type of, you know, an imprint. And then this one. Uh -huh. And this one. And then the small one. So you can make, you know, the small one. So this is a nice little tool. And you're going to see okay. how they work. Okay. So I'm going to heat the, the leaf that I painted. Okay. And I'm going to use this one. The, the big Tina one first. Maple. Sorry? That's I don't know. Tina says maple. Oh my gosh. Okay, but oh, it has yeah. just, and then you just put it in um, like this, okay? And then. Okay. So it doesn't matter if it's smaller than that or not. You just want that in print. You just want the veins, you know, instead of. Uh, Thank you so much, for me. I appreciate it. So I imprinted, I imprinted on the brown part and very little on the green part. But you still see the imprint. Do you see it? I can yeah. put it upside down and um, do it again. No, I better not. I'll leave it like that. So let me try another one. We really appreciate people sharing the love, spreading the, inviting their friends. Um, it's out a lot. It's really good. And I did it again. Okay. So now I'm going to try this one right here. Do you see the imprint on the of the leaf? Uh huh. Okay. So then. So now, if so you, you take the if other you one, didn't just, have the mold, you can know, always. You press it like this. See now, this one looks better. Do you see that? It even shows the. I'll, I'll I'll pick it up in a minute. So you just press it down on this one. This one, there's no. Uh, no, it's not a couple. It's just a single one that, and you impress it on, on your on your foam, right? And see how pretty it looks. Oh yeah, yeah. That and look, look it made it veiny in the back. See, uh -huh. like a normal. Right? Leaf. That's cool. Right? Isn't it nice? Okay. Uh -huh. I like so that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do all of them. So now I love the magnolia uh, flowers and the leaves. There's so many things you can do with them. So much fun. So Carolina's coming to Georgia in another week, and she's going to go live with me from my house. So we'll have both of us on the camera. When she gets here, hopefully I got that craft room downstairs ready. It doesn't it's matter. Look at my, my my mess over here. Oh, does it look I'm, I'm, does it look blurry? It is on my end, but I thought it was because it's my iPad. I just noticed that it looks blurry. Um, let me see. What can I do can you to fix it? Scrolling? Can you help press that in. I don't see why you couldn't, Delta. 
um, it, it would. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. You can get it in there. That's the main thing. Just get it in there, pressed in there, good. But if you, uh, so, you may want, to, you may tear it also because it's so the foam is very thin once you heat it up. So you need to be cautious. But here it is again. Yeah, See how it looks. That is hard plastic that you're using there. Have you ever seen those leaves like they do with the silicone molds? Maybe those would work too. Oh, mm -hmm. I, 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 they it do work, but you know, I haven't been able to find one. Huh. Okay. So then I said, okay, I'm going to do another one without the tool. So then you just do a vein in the middle and see it even makes the, the brown imprint. If you don't want to spin on the mold then you just use a stylus or a, a stick. Doesn't matter. Just give it some character. Carolina, can you rub your hand over the, over your um, thing so the blurriness might go away? The, I, I, like this? Yeah. There. Mm -hmm. mm, a little bit. What do you guys think? Did it help a little? Some nights you just never know. I've never been blurry before. It's weird. I, I just noticed I, I was blurry. It's this better now. I, I see it. I see that it's better. It is better now. It is better okay. now. So I did use the stick and then I, you know, I did the imprint on both sides. Okay. You want to also, you know, just use the, your fingers. Uh-huh. And just try to, to the back and to the front. So they're not so stiff. I'm hoping when the replay comes back, Sybil, it won't be. Now that's so uh, it's clearing up. It's trying to clear up. I don't know what the deal is. Well, I'm going to go like this so that maybe it'll. Well, maybe I don't know why. Okay. Nah, sometimes it just gets wonky, Is it that bad right now? Sybil? I don't see that it's, uh, at my end, I don't see that it's bad. Now, it's good on my end now, but, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's. Uh, I, I see it clear at my end with on my iPad. It's clear on this end, too, on the mm -hmm. iPad now. On my, on my laptop, where I'm reading the comments, <laughs> that's just my internet. That's nothing to do with it. Oh no, she okay. she said it's bad. Who's it's who's bad? bad. Okay. It's All right, so now I'm I'm going to do a line on the on the white leaves, just a white line, you know, in the, in, right in the middle, just to give it some character. That's something that I also noticed on some of the leaves. Um, some of the uh, flowers that I saw at the stores, some of them did have it, some of them didn't have it, so I'm just gonna go with it. Because there's several variations and in colors too. They have um, like red and white and pink. Yeah, I missed that, but I didn't have time. I had to, I was going the wrong way. I was going to go look at the magnolias in there. Hobby Lobby and Michaels, but I went the wrong way. So I didn't make it. I'm trying to, you can't really see the the design though. I, I'll just show you the design on the camera. Let's see? Yeah, yeah I can better? see it when you see it okay. like that, right? Okay. Now, okay, let's see, try it again like this. Okay. And so did you see the leaf? And the leaf looks good. 
Looks really good. This is the one that I, I made with the, the skewer, okay? And okay. this is the one that I imprinted with the, with the mold. Yeah, okay. yeah, more okay. detail with the mold. Okay, so you can tell the difference. But I mean, it's still not a bad job even with the skewer, right? Can't tell. Right. Sure. So it's either way. Mm -hmm. I bet you cool. Okay, okay, so now. So hope you get a big one. Oh yeah, hope you, good luck Tammy. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, add these to the iron. And right now, as you see it, it's really stiff. So I'm gonna put it upside down like this. I don't wanna be moving the camera because then, or the phone, because then uh, I'm gonna give you the blurries again. But basically all she's doing is setting it right on top of the heat of the iron just for a little bit, not for a long time. And then see how I, was? and then, I, I'm molding it right here with the, the top of the glue gun. I mean, the glue, Elmer's glue, just something, see? And so, so it's like this, right? And with the heat now, the, the look at the difference between this one and this one, right? Huh? And then you can put Jackie. it back on the iron and touch it a little bit on the leaf. And fold it to the back or stretch it. So again, it doesn't have the same shape. Isn't it fun, Carol? I love this this foam. I mean, we're we're learning so many new things and doing so many new things with it. But these flowers are going to be awesome, and it's going to hold up outside. The foam is not going to deteriorate. Now, the paint, you would have to um, actually you would have to put some polyurethane or a filler on the paint, but um, the foam is. The foam is going to hold up and even our crazy Georgia weather. So, hi, Ricky. I'm glad you're here. Carol says, we're amazing. Well, Carolina is for sure. <laughs> I do. I, I do what she does, but she does good. We just play it around until we come up with what we like, too. There's another thing that we do. So if you want to see some fun stuff, always go back and look at the other. Uh... Oh, you did, Carol? Carol bought some foam at Hobby Lobby. Oh, good. Yeah, well, mine too. I love the Magnolia flower. Um, but you'll just, you'll find yourself finding that foam a lot of different places. Uh, hi, Susie. I'm glad you're here tonight. Um, the... Oh, I find it at Michael's. I've seen it at Walmart. Uh, Hobby Lobby, of course, has it. And Joanne's has it. Um, and I've seen it on Amazon. Don't forget um, to buy the, the, the big roll. They have it at either Michael's or Joanne's. And it's like $12. And then you can use a coupon. Um, and so that white is very, um, you know, you can you can color. You can paint over it. So uh, you're going to use yeah, quite a lot, though. And then with your coupon. so. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna the, the my, what was that? Michael had the white in the roll. Oh yes, uh -huh. roll. I've seen it there. Yes. Okay. And Joanne does. So because they sell things like in, in in those in that type of bulk for teachers because it's in the in the kids section. Okay. Yeah. My leaves, they look pretty. I mean, they look real. Look at this. They look really good. I love the leaves. In person, you they look always, real. You can always uh, find it at uh, Dollar Tree, too. It's smaller, but it's also thinner. The, the phone Yeah, I, I don't like that. I don't like that one from the, the Dollar Tree phone. So it's too thin, to and it, it tears up. It really tears up a lot. Yeah, I would. It's, I would it's think about a little square like this, you know. At least at my store, anyway. 
You're welcome, Susie. We're glad to we're glad to show you stuff. Yeah. Well, each one of them are different. After done shaping, the heat keeps the heat. Uh, I missed that comment. There went my laptop right quick. Dead gum it. So I'll have to go back. Tammy, I missed the comment. I'll I'll catch up with it and just Did, back you, it up I going back. Was, whose comment was it? I can scroll. Um, after you've done shaping, what keeps the heat outside from letting it lose its shape? Because once this is shaped, it's pretty well there for the duration. I mean, once you shape it with a heat, it doesn't go back. Um, yeah, it's it's like sealed with a heat. It's just like flowers that you buy. You put your flowers outside. It's the same thing. Hi, Linda. Let me see if I need okay. any more. So now I am going to make uh, the center. And uh, I should have painted the center too, but I didn't. That's okay. Susie's doing her dining room in the dome. Yes, so this is going to be fun. She can make a set of these or all sorts of things with this. So. You cut us. I'm going to cut this one right here because it trimmed it. So you make lashes. And this is about an inch or inch and a half, whatever size you want your the middle. Now, some of them have a cone in the middle. Some of them do not. So I did make this one to have a cone right here in the center. I used to have of a, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see? Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay. So I used a, uh, on that one, I used a, um, uh, the smallest foam ball. And I cut it in half, and then I painted it brown. Turn off this iron. Yeah, Susie, that'll be pretty. I love the magnolias. And your dining room, that'd be so nice. So I put the, the little lashes that I made and the heat just a little bit to give it some shape so they're not so straight also, okay? And I wanna show you also again the, the different type of magnolia because you wanna use the magnolia that has like, um, this one has, I put it in a stem and then you can add more leaves here. So you're gonna use like in a centerpiece, right? So that's the difference. Um, and then you, of course, you, you know, you got more leaves, but on this one is just flat like here. And then you can just add it on your, on your, on your wreath, right? Right. right. Add glue and just put them on your wreath. And, uh, you're going to create a wreath out of these, right? Um, yes, um, I am. I am. I, I'm hoping to get to it. Uh, oh, I'll be pressed to get it done this, this weekend because I'm trying to get this moot done, but I'm going to try to get it done. And I'm going to come back in and show you um, how to, how to do a wreath with the, with the, with the leaves and the, um, Magnolia. I know your flowers and we'll, we'll just, uh, I probably, I'm thinking I may even want to do it on a grapevine, but you could even do it with, uh, with some deco mesh if you chose to. Okay, so this is my center, okay, nice and fluffy. And I'm just gonna uh, paint the tips yellow. So it shouldn't take me long to make these flowers because it's no. just a matter of getting them all cut out. I can do that in kind of like a uh, assembly line. Assembly line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just 
do all the products in. first and then um Sorry. just like I said. Okay. So uh I got a new glue gun and I like this one because it's a sure uh sure bonder and it has for high and for low. So this one I can measure the, the heat. Isn't it perfect? And it's that is perfect. Good. Probably like the low heat on this. And it, it was a lot cheaper than the other short bonder that I had that broke right away. Wow. It was crazy. I think Susie uh, oh, had the same problem. Sorry? Where did you find it? Oh, I bought it at the Hobby Lobby. Hobby mm -hmm. Lobby, okay. You add glue in the center. And add it to the middle of the first leaves. I mean petals, and then add a little bit of a little dab of glue right here so it'll stay closed. Kind of on the side of the petals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the side of the petals, uh huh. Then you add the next okay. one and counter the the way you know that they are. So then you add glue to the bottom again. Okay, so now here at this point, it's going to be up to you um, to see how large and how many petals you want in your magnolia. Okay, so now I'm going to just dab glue on the petals and start attaching. And shaping. And they're usually five. Usually five petals? Yeah. Yeah. On each, you know, each row. Well, on each uh -huh. row. Glue gun it's got a little stand. It, it does. It got it was taking me a while to get used to it because I want to uh -huh. lay it down somewhere and it stands on its own. Oopsie. Okay. Oh, that's coming out so pretty. Okay. And then I'll add another one over here. You could about use the same design if you wanted to, if you wanted like a the, what are they, water lilies that look that pretty? That same shape? Aren't they called water lilies? The, the, what? Uh, the, same, the same leaf style, the flowers, mm -hmm. the big, huge. The paper flowers? No, like the ones that are in uh, the ponds. The water, oh, the water the, lilies. The water lilies? Uh -huh. The water lilies? Yes, yes, the water lilies. Yeah, the, the lotuses, right? Lotuses, uh, yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. See, I thought you said you didn't know anything about it. You were, a, you were an artist, not a... <laughs> not a I know flower. the basic flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Just some basic, like the rose, but... And some I can't even pronounce. It's been holding 
Like, how do you pronounce peonies? Is oh, it I peonies? Know. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Some of them They're are tongue twisters. Though. At least for me, they are. Yeah. Well, to me, I judge flowers by their color. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know when they bloom or what. I just, if I like the color and they look good, that's what I'm using. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. If it's the right color and the right the right shape. That's it. That's what I'm using then. So that's how I that's how I pick my flowers. So, so it depends this on how many. Be another. How many? Depending it's on how many. Uh, sorry. This is going to be like the flat one, not the one on the stem. Well, are you going to? I, at this point, you can do whatever. And the other, the reason I sent different okay. petals is because uh, the other petal has like a. I don't know if you noticed on the picture, it had um, the back of the leaves right here, or oh, like this one. Uh -huh. it has, it's like this. See, oh, some yeah. of them are like it's this. Like a, so there's several variations. Uh -huh. That's the only reason I sent several, but. With the same pattern, you can just trim it. Uh, just make uh -huh, a make little, you know, like this, right. you know. Okay. But that was the only reason I sent those different ones because, you know, they do. I saw, I noticed that some of those petals had that indention right there. Okay, so it's, yeah. you know, so it's up to you. And so, like, uh, this stem I bought, this stem I bought a long time ago. You see this? It only has very few. Uh -huh. Yeah. It only has three, six. It only has nine petals. That's it. That flower. Well, there's so many different varieties of um... mm -hmm. Yeah, there's different varieties. So it all depends on how you want your flower and how big. So I think it looks good with at least three leaves, but you can add more than three if you like. So, Susie, when you get the dimer and finish and you make these and put them in there, you're going to have to send us a picture. So, if you make these, we want to see them, okay? That's right. Okay, so here, it's going to be, it's going to depend on how, how or what type of flower you're going to use, okay? So, if you want to use, use it on the stem, then this is when you're going to use, and this is where I need you, the botanist, I need your word. <laughs> where is it? <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost my word. You lost Maybe the word. Will, Maybe somebody will come up with it for me. What did I do yeah. with it? Well, there's a, I put a, 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 a pattern in there, so I'll just make it so I can show you what I'm you talking did, about. You did put a pattern in here for it. Yeah, you there's a pattern it. for it. Yeah. Uh-huh. So if you're going so to you put a stem, that. you're going to use a wire yeah. and make a, a stem uh -huh. of, you know, of several, because you can have several flowers and make a button also, um, you know, just, is it a, a bud? Uh, you know, then of a course, you, mm -hmm. then you heat that little, whatever you call it, and then you're going to put <laughs> it here, okay? Because you're going to, I'm sorry, here, you're going to put it here because right. you're going you're gonna to put the, the wire there. But if you're gonna use it for your um, your wreath, and you don't need you don't need that. So all you need to do is cut the octagon that I that I put in there, you know, or it doesn't have to be an octagon. It can be a circle. I just did an octagon, so that way you can start placing flowers there. But since we did, I did it a different way. You don't need to. Just cover right here, like this. Glue it, and you're done because right. it's gonna go on. It's gonna go on your on the wreath. So on your wreath or, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So well, it's either, depending on what you want. So what do you want me to do with this one, a stem or? Because all you do is insert Please the girls. stem. Sorry? I'm asking, what do you guys want her to do? You want her to put the stem on it? Or are you good with just the, putting the flat on it? 
because she did do the one with the stem right there. Anybody give us some ideas and that's what we'll go with. Okay, and so, so that would be... Somebody has a question. Carol Davis says, it's like ironing your jeans once you get them ironed, the wrinkles. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there are no more questions. So yeah. And then um, I'll just put flowers on this one, leaves on this one. How's that? That's good. That's good. Just and so that'll be good. Yeah. Let's work on this one. So this one has a green. It's the green floral aging gauge, right? So because the stems wow. on all the magnolias are not green that I know that I that I saw, they're brown. I bought some brown tape. Um, where's my brown tape? So I need to Tomorrow. put that little, thing, that little thing I just made, I need to put it here because um, I'm going to use this stem. Anybody got any questions? Uh, and said this is the first time she's watching. This is so pretty. She's never seen anything made like this. It is beautiful. Uh, thank and you. we have several videos on our uh, site. And thank you. And uh, we've demonstrated several different flowers, uh, Christmas ornaments. Uh, it's lots of stuff you can do with the foam. That's why we call it foam art, but um, it's just your imagination that holds you back on this this particular um, material. App or material, exactly. So it's just whatever you know you like. So, but we're glad you're here. We're glad you're here. We hope you come back. Um, if you, uh, Deborah says she loves it. Thank you, thank you, Deborah. Thank you. Um, You guys want to know when we get noted? We can't use our bot yet because Facebook is not proven any right now. But if you look up in the corner there, you've got three dots right next to that little bell looking thing. And you click on those three dots, it'll give you a drop down menu. And on that drop down menu, it'll say notify us when they go live again. And they will, Facebook will notify you. So if you, you know, don't get, uh, I, we try to post it when we go live, but, you know, you miss it sometimes. There's so much out there. But if you uh, just use those three dots up there and use the drop-down menu, you can be notified when we go live again. Because when this page goes live, that's when we to share it. Some things I can't do because of the hand, like this stuff, is like, ooh. Oh, I know. And you have to pull it to make it stick. Kind of like stretching it. Mm -hmm. So, any more any questions, anybody? Okay, so I'm going to make it a little bit more realistic to the stem, and I'm going to try to come up with something while we're here, because it doesn't have a solid stem. It has like these little grooves, and you know. You can right, uh, take right. a little piece of um, of the brown. And then just go with the tape again. Just make little No. 
arms like this. Yeah, because they're like a... I have the leaves, Caroline. I just don't have. Sorry. I have a lot of the leaves. I have a lot of the leaves here, but I just don't have them. But yeah, they have the little things on there. I'll put too much glue in this one. where you're doing so much better. I'm hoping your sewing is going good for you. Mandy's trying sewing now. Something new for her. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Oh, good. So glad you're here. And it's only two, make two leaves, I'm just gonna leave two. But see, this is basically it. Uh huh. With a stem and without it. And without the stem. Now let's see those in the camera group so everybody can see it. That's okay, Mandy. We, we leave it on the page. These are, these are good if you wanna see, but she didn't make no flowers and. Um, she did one with a stem. I'm so glad you're doing better. So glad you're doing better. Um, and then she did one that looked like she just wanted to lay it flat on a wreath or something. Hi, Bob. How are you? Just, go, just finish the back with anything, you know, with a little bit of a circle or a square, doesn't matter, so that you can use this also to um, attach it to your wreath, glue it to your wreath. Oh, you're not in a weight now, Mandy? <laughs> so you're not getting that going done. I see. I see. Well, Mandy, you do decide you, you want to, um, you want to make these. The template, we did put the templates on the page. So we do have them on the page. So anybody can take them and print them out. And, and uh, then you can make your own. Because we're trying to, we're trying to do this with all the flowers. Uh, I think so far we've maybe done two or three, but we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Just you know, try to get templates out there so you get a chance to do the same thing. Because they're lots of fun. They're lots of fun you, to make these the different kinds. You're just adding a little, some little knobs on the on the on the stalk or the stem because that's what how they are the. Um... Just make a little different. The too, the leaves, uh -huh. Yeah, like they're gonna come out like it's so sticky this paper and yet it doesn't stick. Oh. Yeah, you have to stretch it. You have to stretch it. Mm hmm Oh, I think you would love it, Mandy. It's just right I think it'd be right up your alley, but she she does a good job explaining it, but then she's got several other ones on here too. Um yeah, I think I think as artistic as you are, you could you could do that with a lot of stuff. And Mandy's still having med problems, they're knocking her out. So she's sleeping, but that's good. Well maybe you need to do what I did, Mandy. Mandy. To heal. She needs to do what I eat what I ate a while ago, my dog food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mandy, you know, Carolyn, dog food today. She's been having stomach issues all day and nothing worked, nothing helped. And so she made her dog some dog food with chicken and rice and she ate it and she started feeling better. <laughs> so that's another that's enough. The next thing somebody says, oh, my stomach's driving me crazy. I, can't. I say, make some dog food. 
<laughs> make some dots. So this is it for my uh, my magnolias. I made two of them. Isn't that pretty, guys? I love them. I love and them. I'm gonna try. Oh, thank you so much, Mandy. I appreciate it so much. We really do appreciate all the shares and the loves, and the likes. It really makes uh, makes us feel real special, doesn't it, Carolina? Yes, it does. Thank you so much. Uh, it's not really showing in on the camera. Um, I can see on my uh, iPad what it really looks like. Uh -huh. and it's not doing it any justice. Yeah. You know? It but never does to me. Yeah. They never do. But maybe you can take some pictures and we'll post them on the page. Okay, I will what do, do that. Think? Yeah, I'll do that. That'll be okay, say, All right, thank you so much that. for joining us today. It was, again, a pleasure. Thank Have you, a good, everybody. Uh, Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye.